Hi, it's Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I am here to show you some projects that I made with the Echo Park Hello Easter collection. Now, this is a 12 by 12 collection. It's 12 double-sided papers, including um, cut-aparts and a sticker sheet. So you can see the variety of paper patterns here. These are really bright, cheery, spring colors, and I really love that. And um, as with many of the Echo Park 12 by 12 collections, the flip side of the cover is one of the cut-apart sheets. So here you can see how adorable these cut-aparts are. The other thing that Echo Park does that I really appreciate is that the branding strip that they have along the bottom, you can actually cut because it includes um, a design, and in this case, it says Hello Easter and a little design strip here. So you can add that to your projects as well. So this is one of the cut apart sheets. And this is the other. Really adorable. And then this is the sticker sheet. So a lot of really sweet Easter and spring stickers. So I'm going to get to using this collection and then I'll come back and show you what I created. Okay, so I am back and I was able to make 25 cards with this Echo Park collection. And I also made a couple of additional goodies that I will show at the end of the video. But when you're working with a 12 by 12 collection like this that has some cut aparts and a sticker sheet, I like to bring in some extras. So of course for the card bases and for some accent pieces, I bring in some of my own card stock. So I added some um, additional card stock spring colors and then um, the black and white for most of the card bases. And then I also um, decided to bring in a couple of dye collections and I brought in some flowers and leaves um, just to add some additional embellishments um, for the cards. So I die cut some of these flowers. And then of course, I always add, uh, I like to add some ribbon and um, enamel dots and that sort of thing, just to add a little bit more to the cards. I added um, just one stamp. Um, it's a Happy Easter stamp from uh, Hero Arts, and that was the only stamp that um, I added to the card making. So 25 cards, and um, I started out by making some of the four by four size and here's one that says, this is one of the cut-aparts, you are somebody special. And then the inside just has that happy Easter stamp. So um, here's one that just says happy Easter. Here's a couple of those flowers that I die cut and layered up. And then the inside just has a piece of the cardstock. Here's one with the stickers and this adorable bunny from the sticker sheet, and that's that carrot paper that I just thought was so cute. Um, I cut a banner here, some enamel dots, and then that stamp with a couple of the carrot stickers on the inside. And here's one, it's a sticker that says, Hello Easter. I added the ribbon, again, some enamel dots. I kept these pretty simple and then the inside with another sticker and a piece of the cardstock. So it, that was four of the four by four. And then I made some um, mini slim lines, and these are using uh, six by six cardstock that's cut, um, that is scored at three, and then of course folded in half. Here again is some more stickers, ribbon, a bow, and then the inside is blank. Here's another one of the mini slim lines. It's never too early for chocolate. 
And then of course, a cute chocolate bunny, one of my favorite Easter treats. And then this one that just says Happy Easter, just uh, die cut a circle there. And of course, some flowers and then the inside. And then this one, again, that's that strip that says Hello Easter that I said you could always cut out and I sort of fishtailed that. Inside is blank. And then here's another Happy Easter. This is one of the stickers. It's an ador adorable banner with the bunny and carrots. And there's the inside of that one. So those were the um, mini slimline cards that I made. And there were five of those. Now I'll get into showing the, the standard A2 size cards. So here's one of the A2s with a, a simple sticker that said Easter Blessings. And I, of course I cut a banner, then I added a bow. And that's that pretty pastel check. This is the bunny background paper, and I added some flowers there and the Happy Easter, and then this is one of the stickers. So this collection really is so cheery. I love the colors, as I mentioned. And, you know, as I said, I brought in some of my own cardstock. This is a piece of orange to kind of complement the carrots. And then, of course, the blue to complement cutting around um, that adorable bunny. This is one of the cut aparts that said, Some Bunny Loves You. And this is probably one of my favorites because I just love the orange and green. And here I cut, I cut some flowers and then I just added a green accent to complement the top of the carrots. This says, you are totally cracking me up. I just thought that was so sweet. And this is another one of my favorites, just because I thought that chick was just so adorable. I loved adding the flowers there, just to bring out the flower wreath that the chick has around his little head. And then the inside flips open like that. Here I cut a tag, and then I took one of the, the cut aparts that was in a tag shape, and I layered it on top of the other tag, stamped the Happy Easter, added the ribbon and a bow. Here's, of course, another one of the cut aparts. And what I've done here is I've just drawn some stitching around the edge just to make it pop up a little bit more.
So that is a look at all of the A2 size cards that I made. So again, it was a total of 25 Easter and spring cards with this collection. And I have one more thing to show you. So to go along with all the adorable Easter cards, I made a couple of pillow boxes, which I thought were perfect for just adding some jelly beans or some chocolate eggs as a little sweet treat. And I used the paper for that. And here's one. Here's another, and I just added one of the stickers from the collection. It says, so fun. And of course, I had to include one with the adorable carrot paper and a little chocolate bunny on the top. So 25 cards, three pillow boxes, I do have some stickers left and I have another sheet left of the actual pattern paper, um, but I can save that for later. And that's everything that I made with this adorable Echo Park collection. I hope you enjoyed taking a look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.